Dexter Industries. Poor doggy. Yeah, I feel bad for the dog. But that's fine. <clears throat> we have to we have to move on. It's okay, it was just a bulldog. Bulldogs have feelings too. <laughs> I know, okay? it's true. By the way, it's Octo. And this is Looney McFlooney Lou. And welcome back to Hitman Absolution. Doing Dexter's Lab. Sanchez is on the sign. Uh, okay, so Dexter's Lab. Like or hate? Um, well, I have a love-hate with it. Just like Tony Hawk? All yeah. All those games? Just like Tony Hawk. I'm just going to draw this guy's attention here. This is actually a pretty cool way. Did it? Yeah, he saw it. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, we found an easy way to go through this level uh, with... Stealing this guy's yeah, uniform? We we did. We end up practicing almost every level right beforehand because in stealth games you want to uh, go through as fast as possible, uh, especially when you're doing a let's play because you don't want any boring points where we're just waiting for someone to move, right? So yeah, that's why we practice. All and, right. Uh, like if, it would be different if we were playing a game that we had never played before. Then we wouldn't practice because then it would be wrecking some of the reactions, but we both pretty much know this game off by heart. Yeah, absolutely. So, so our objectives right now are to disable both uh, the main and backup security systems before we infiltrate Dexter's lab. What I like about uh, stealing the disguise is that we can use the instinct to get slip right past the guards. Yeah, and actually we're using this uniform throughout the entire mission. Yeah, that's right. So it's like the first asset you get literally 30 seconds into the mission is what you is your biggest asset three uh, throughout the entire mission at least in my opinion oh yeah absolutely all right okay so there's the primary security so i mean they probably should have done a better uh like job at hiding the backup security because it's like five like maybe 100 feet away yeah so be beware of rattlesnakes. Never been bit by one in this game. Can you imagine if that happened? That would be terrifying. Yeah. I mean, it happened to that bulldog. It did, You just yeah. forgot about that. I know. So, I mean... I, I, we're, we're I, I feel bad, too, about my comment, because, you know, my friend, he has a bulldog, and I, it's it's a it's a cool dog. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't personally have one, but... No. You know? Alright, so I'm yeah. going to wait for this conversation to end. And yeah. then I'm going to disable security right there. Mm -hmm. And then that's basically this entire first area. Yeah. The second area of this uh, mission is also really, really short. This is why we decided not to go through this game suit only on this, uh, le yeah. on this Let's Play. Okay. Yeah. Because if you go suit only, a stealth is almost impossible. Well, I mean, not on normal, but on hard, it's almost impossible. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So we're just gonna use instinct to get by this guy. No problem. And uh, now the evidence yeah. would be in the room to the right over down, there. Down there. But we're not touching it because everything that can go wrong while recording will go wrong. Yeah, and this is uh, again, this is not a, uh, a walkthrough. Walk through, it's a let's play. Yeah. So this is gonna be the quickest way, quickest yeah, and easiest quickest way, and most to get efficient way, to our knowledge, to get through it. Yeah. All right. So this, uh, again, evidence, we're not going for it. Yeah, no. Now, <laughs> another way to do this, uh, if you're not taking the disguise, you could sabotage this. This shuts off the TV. Those two dudes there are playing uh, Hitman, probably. <laughs> and uh, Multiplayer Hitman. Yeah, So, but we're not going to worry about it because we've got instinct and we've got this disguise. We're just going to yeah. walk by here. And if no you problem. want the evidence, you have to get them off of the, uh, the game by sabotaging the power. Yeah, you or, need this key card, by the way. Yep. There's a med kit if you need it. Yeah. Or you could kill them because the evidence is on top of uh, whatever they're playing. It's on top of the TV. All right. This is actually a very quick way through this uh, level. Yeah, well, the old mill section of this level is pretty short. All right, cross the ledge. Here we go. I still stay with the... Uh, my opinion on that uniform. It looks good on 47. It does, yeah. 
That's like in the morning in the summer. You open the door and you just get blinded for yeah. like 15 seconds. And yeah. you just, you're like, I hate the sun. Yeah, Ugh. for you feel sure. like a vampire. Yeah. Of course, right now I'm missing the sun because it's minus 25 outside. Yeah. Pumping gas today, I burned my fingers on the, <laughs> on the metal yeah. of the pumper. That sucks. Yeah, well, I would imagine. we're in Canada, so... Yeah, we are indeed in the Great White North. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. Okay, now there is this guy in a window. You could pull him out, but I don't like to do that because it alerts the guards. Yeah, underneath. You underneath? You throw him down and he smacks on, uh... Why'd you climb back up? I don't know. <laughs> You're supposed to go down. Uh, yeah, you throw the guard down, he lands on a balcony and just people are, are freaking out because a body just landed on the balcony. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I would freak out too. Oh yeah, absolutely. So we're just not going to do that. So this is a super easy way to go through this. Yeah. Evidence is to the right. Those two guys are looking yeah. at it. But not touching it. You're not going to deal with it right now? Yeah. We only get the evidence if it's absolutely necessary. Checkpoint. Okay, now this is a really cool way to get through here. This, uh, we need to get through that door. Um, it's the quickest easy, and easiest route. So, these two guys here are the only ones with the key card, so we're gonna follow them right through. Yeah, you could sneak around the side, but it takes a little longer, and when you have this disguise, it just doesn't really make sense to do that. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> just gonna keep my distance a little bit. Yeah, there. pretty much here, you just have to follow them. Yeah. They're heading to a staff meeting. Yep. Talk about how they don't get any birthday cake for Carl. <laughs> that will come into play later. Yes, actually. You're right. Okay. I'm just hiding here. And when we're at DEFCON 1, business. Just wait for the meeting to be done. Yep. Yeah, that's a good looking outfit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like the the rag. I'm not sure if that's like supposed to be a scarf or an ascot. Yeah, who knows? Looks good. For wiping your mouth? Yep. It's probably not what it's supposed to be there for. But <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> wiping the blood off their hands because of all the that could be dirty it. work they do. All right, here we go. That's what I, yeah, instinct yeah. by this dude. Just trying to save what I can because yeah. I don't have a lot of it. Yeah. Okay. Another med kit there? Yeah. If you do get spotted, it's it's not that big of a fight, but if you get hurt, there you go, it's med kit. And again, you only have to use instinct if absolutely necessary, like right, right, right there. there. Good catch. Alright. I'm gonna head down this way. And uh, don't be like me and be an idiot. You wanna head to the right first and power the elevator before you try to get onto it. I think everybody's done that the first time. I did yeah. that probably the first two times. Yeah, when I was, I was going through this. this game on hard, trying to 100% it, I did that. And I was like, oh, I have to go back upstairs and I have no instinct left. Speaking of out of instinct. Yeah, just now. But I made it. This is my objective here. Yeah. You want to power the uh, elevator right here? You want to call it? All right. Very good. I don't remember like a it. glove. Exactly. I do not remember the name of this next area, but I love this next area because I really like sniping, and I always take a sniper rifle and kill all the guys in the breach. That's a fun way to do it. <clears throat> yeah, I've done that before too. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go about it a little bit differently. Uh, yep. I'm gonna. Well, you know what? Let's just. I'll just get there and we'll yeah, show just get them. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's nice looking water. <laughs> it is, yes. All right, let me go up here. Now, I want to be a little quick here because this guy is up here. You have your garage? Thank you. There you go. So, uh, Looney and I were looking at the leaderboards for uh, most of the missions uh, right before we started recording this, and... It's so weird that 
it's like I have the top score for the first half of the game, and then he has the top score for the second half of the game. And every now and then, there will be like one of my other friends uh, above one of us, but it's like we're first and second most of the time. And that's really interesting because we play this game pretty differently. Yeah, it's true, we do. Yeah. Now, this is my method here. This is really, really risky because uh, this is perfectly timed. This has to be perfectly timed. They will see you if you're not careful, even from this perspective. Yeah, and I've never done this before. If this guy, if I get too close, this guy will spot me. So I'm just going to stop right there. But the trick is you got to watch for this other guy too because he'll come over here. So basically as soon as this guy over here starts to move, I'm going to start heading over there. Sometimes you get caught here. Yeah. You just have to do it again. But okay, this guy's going to move. So I'm going to make my way across. All right. Impractical jump. Yep. Now this guy is there, so I'm going to stop again. Perfectly timed. This took me a long time to actually get this timing right. Yeah, I remember you talking to me about this part of the game and telling me that it took you a long time, and I always thought, why does it take you a long time? You just snipe the dudes on the bridge. If you yeah. snipe them in the right order, they fall off, and when the guys turn around to see what the noise was, the body's already off the bridge, yeah. so they just don't notice. And of course, that's the fun That's the fun method. That's the fast way. Yeah, it is. Oh man, almost. Almost got caught. Sometimes it's a little bit... Uh, it's a little stiff. It's a little stiff. The shimmying here. in this game is a little stiff. It is. I mean, I imagine if I was holding on with my fingers like that, I'd yeah. be a little stiff too. In fact, I don't think I could even hold on no, for that long. I definitely could not do that. Okay. Especially not crossing a bridge. I'm so scared of heights, I wouldn't even want to cross <laughs> that bridge. Don't climb through there. No. Probably not a good idea. No, probably not. Okay. I'm just going to let this guy uh, make his way across. Yep. Does he actually notice you? I don't know, but I'm not going to take a risk right now, because yeah. that whole thing about stuff going wrong... Yeah. Yeah, and not in my not in my playbook. Yeah. All right. We, uh, we recorded all the extra kills for uh, the uh, Death Factory, which is the next level, right before we did this uh, mission, like right before we recorded it, and everything went so smoothly. It you did. guys don't even know how smoothly it went, and I can almost guarantee you... I'm going to screw up somewhere because we're recording. <laughs> oh, I imagine I'll be screwing up, up here in a, in a minute, but uh, this is a cool way to do this. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. Coming up, too, is a checkpoint, so that's... Uh, yeah, that's always nice. That's nice, yeah. All right. And you just go right down the ladder from here, and you... Well, you're in, like, a little armory, but... You don't even need to touch anything. That, that's what I like about this, uh, like this path we took. Is yeah. No one knew you were there. No one. You, like you don't right. have to touch anyone. You don't have to do anything. Now, if you want to be noticed, you can always activate this proximity yeah. mine. Because there's a guy that I think he comes to take uh, to take a smoke break in here, but <laughs> has a horrible time. You gotta be careful. Don't open that door because there is a guard literally right there. This is really tricky uh, in your suit. Oh, yeah. Because everything is trespassing in your suit at this point. Here, you want to go uh, into this vent here? Right. He just called her a cow. He did. <laughs> okay. This guy's not even noticing. Okay, this is... You want to be careful around this corner. There's a guy who comes in here. And this uh, large lady is on um, security. Yep. All right. We're so th this whole mission is super hard unless you know what you're doing. And that kind of perfectly sums up Hitman as a whole. The game is ridiculously difficult unless you know what you're doing. That's right. As soon as you, that's what's so great about Hitman. You as soon as you learn it and you you put like I don't even know what I was going to say like like you learn it and you put your strategies to it and they work. It's the most rewarding feeling. It is, absolutely. Like everything falls into place. Like we found here when we did our practice run, that this is a really simple way to go through this level. Yeah. And there it is. Exactly. That's it. Goodbye. 
Well, next time, guys, we're going to handle the Death Factory. We will see you guys later.